key of B on a C chromatic harmonica. Uh, I want to talk about a couple like music theory things and something I like to call harmonica ergonomics. Um, and that's going to be like the theoretical thing. And then we're going to step into the real world here uh, about the key of B. Generally, there's a thing with chromatic harmonic players that most of them will say, if they look at the circle of fifths, you see the flat keys on the left side and the sharp keys will be on the right. And you will hear chromatic players say, you know, I prefer to play in the flat keys. And there's a reason for that. Um, and it has to do with kind of a, a, it has to do with the number of breath changes that you have to make. And I'm talking major scale here, just major scale. Uh, and I did a video where I compared E flat to E natural. So E flat has a very flowing feeling. The key of E major scale has kind of a choppy feeling because you're changing breath direction. You're also having to constantly go back and forth with the slide position too while changing breath direction. And so um, having said all that, the key of B is sitting solidly on the right side of the circle of fifths. It is uh, a little bit of an awkward major scale. It's also not a very popular key amongst other instruments. I'm, a piano player is going to prefer to play a song in the key of C rather than down a half step in the key of C. Now let's put all that aside and talk about playing in the key of B on a C chromatic harmonica and how for me I naturally fell into this and I have to um, I have to tell you that this is a really good key for blues harmonica players who play cross harp who are learning the diatonic or the chromatic let me say that again this is a good key for blues diatonic harp players who are learning the chromatic harmonica and there's a reason for this. I have to grab a diatonic, if you can excuse me. Look at this bag of harps here. This is show and tell. Um, but anyway, so here here I have F sharp and there's the G. And, and so F sharp, F, and then here's the E harp. That's my goal uh, for this demonstration. What I want to show you about the key of B on the chromatic. So... Uh, we're just playing cross harp on an E harp in the key of B, right? And we have... That's holes 2, 3, 4, and 5. They're all, all those draw notes, right? So, um, it turns out they're all draw notes in, in, on the chromatic harmonica. And so... As you learn this key, if you're a blues-oriented harp player and you have certain breath patterns like that's a real basic one, right? Like it's the same breath pattern. So that's my argument for harp players uh, playing in the key of B and not like dismissing it. Like the key of B is a weird key. I've heard chromatic players say they don't want to play on the sharp keys and like whatever. Um, but so here, let me explain my history uh, as an early student. I had a really good teacher because I was teaching myself. Get it? Um, but yes, I was teaching myself. And um, occasionally I would find a book at the music store and, and pick that up. But let's let's talk about me doing what all blues harp players do and gravitating towards the key of D minor right on the on the C harp um, but it didn't take me long to discover that I could get the major third with just a push of a button so so um, I started to play around with D major um, so here I am. If you just move down one hole to the next draw note down, that's B. That's the note B, and it's the relative minor to D major. So just 
playing around with draw notes, you know, I had B, I had the A below it, I had the D above the, that, and then I had all these D major patterns that I'd already learned that work in the parallel or relative minor key. So D major and B minor, they're relatives. So all these draw notes, right? Uh, then I was already used to the F sharp and just on up the harmonica. Uh, then the familiar, like going to the four, not not whole four, but the fourth degree of the scale. That was a familiar breath pattern as a blues harmonica player. So I have a very strong argument that harp players should check out the key of B on the chromatic. Now here, I gotta show you this about draw notes. So let's just start with, um, with, a, with a, a major seventh arpeggio. So. They're all draw notes. Let's make it a dominant seventh. So we'll have, um, we'll flat the seventh degree. So. Played that one already, of course. Uh, then a minor seventh. So all three of those seventh chord arpeggios are all draw notes. And um, to me, that parallels the kind of the cross harp or even like third position on the diatonic experience. So uh, did I have anything else I wanted to say about the key of B? Um, so all of this minor pentatonic language uh, then... Uh, just like for me, while I was in, in the key of D and, I, and the minor third could be raised with the push of a button, same with, with this B minor tonality. You can make it a B major tonality. Um, right? So you can put a major third in there real easy. Um, so... I've, I found that um, I'm finding, and when I think about trying to teach this key, if you're familiar with my harmonica method, the key of B is, is a volume three topic, so I'm sort of jumping ahead. Um, but I've been thinking about this. Um, the minor pentatonic scale seems to be relatively easy and intuitive, and if you're a blues harmonica player, I, I think it would be you know, you fall quite naturally into it. You just have to get used to F sharp. There it is. So then it's got a nice turn right there. Um, but the, but learning the major scale is, 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 uh, a little more challenging and then uh, even the other two um, diatonic scales that I'm thinking of like learning the dominant scale, learning the Dorian scale, uh, to me it was a little awkward learning about C sharp. So let's just let's just think of, uh, of, of, of a Dorian scale. So B on my 12 hole harmonica. Another subject, if you're playing in the key of B, it's going to kind of push you to want to maybe have a harp that has some a low range of 14 or a 16 hole. Another topic entirely, but um, on the 12 hole you want to get so you're navigating to the bottom of the harmonica, even if you don't have the root on the bottom. So. as low as you can go with a C sharp. So the minor pentatonic scale, just learning about these draw notes in this key, uh, uh, then the more challenging thing of, of learning the basic diatonic scales, which um, would be major, dominant, and Dorian, um, and then probably the natural minor scale, those four. Um, 
those are a little more challenging. There's more of that kind of sharp key awkwardness of changing breath direction while changing the position of the slide. If you're a student of the chromatic harmonica, if you're just a blues player, if you're just investigating the chromatic, uh, you could take the path I did, which was D minor, D major. What's the relative of D major? B minor. Uh, then B major, you know, going back and forth. But I would say to spend some time practicing, this is whole four draw, the four, um, the four draw notes and create these three kinds of um, seventh chord arpeggios. So back to this. The slide is in for all the notes except for the B. Uh, then for this one we're going to release the slide on that last one which is A, the seventh. This next one we are going to um, not have the slide in for the third degree of the scale. Or the second member of the arpeggio. Anyway, play around with that. I will uh, talk to you guys later. I've had so many delays working on volume two. Um, and uh, but I'm I'm pressing through, and in the meantime, I wanted to put out some YouTube content. Um, check out my lesson where I I talk about the Stevie Wonder song, and I can't think of the title right now. But check out that lesson because there's a, a lot of B major stuff in that lesson. Talk to you later.